Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. Business schools are facing growing criticism that they don't teach young managers the skills they need to work in a global company, that they are, to put it bluntly, not fit for purpose. So can appointing a business person rather than a career academic as Dean help address this? One person well placed to answer this question is Scott Beardsley, a former senior partner at McKinsey and since the 1st of August the Dean of the Darden School at the University of Virginia. Professor Beardsley, do you, how important is it for professors as well as deans um, to have some experience in the commercial world, some real practical experience? I, I think it's important for every professor to understand what's happening in the world of practice, to be connected with companies, to understand what's really happening in the world. Um, there are many ways to achieve that. Uh, you don't have to take a leave of absence for 10 or 15 years to go learn that. You can be relevant in your research uh, work with executive education. There's many different ways to get uh, to get experience in that domain, but I do believe it's important to be able to mix both the theory with the practice and what actually works in the real world. That is actually what the students need to learn, is how do I go out afterwards and be a successful manager and how you implement things, how things actually happen is an important aspect of any business education. Yes, but I mean, research and working with companies is quite different, isn't it, from trying to manage a team or giving uh, feedback or, in fact, the, those nasty HR issues like firing people. Yeah. I, you know, I think, first of all, let's remember that in part of the learning in any business school is that you learn also from your classmates. And one of the th aspects of an MBA program is that most people, almost all, at least at the University of Virginia, have quite some experience that they also bring to the classroom. So you're learning also from your, your classmates. You're learning from the professors. Sometimes uh, there's research on how do you give feedback. Uh, I've, I've, I've received feedback on how to give feedback uh, before, <laughs> and I think that can be quite a useful skill uh, to learn. And, and those are the types of things and skills, skill sets we try and teach at Darden. Like you're obviously from a professional services firm, and we've seen business schools who've appointed um, similar deans in the past. Some have been hugely successful, some have perhaps not been so successful. Why is it, do you think, um, that some of them do so well? What is it they bring to the table that perhaps an academic dean might not? I think every case is different. Uh, it's hard to make sweeping generalizations of all traditional presidents or all non-traditional uh, deans. Um, that's what I actually did my dissertation on, was studying non-traditional uh, university uh, presidents. But I think any successful dean uh, needs to be able to operate in a shared governance environment. Uh, if you're coming from the outside, the, the question everyone's asking in your mind, are you going to be a, a top-down uh, dictator that's going to tell everybody what to do and not understand what it means to be a professor, what the life is like, what the culture is like in the university. So I think the successful ones tend to look at and spend a lot of time understanding the culture, uh, getting to know the professors uh, very well, and learning how to operate in the shared governance environment. Uh, for me, coming from McKinsey and Company, uh, I, maybe that's second nature because you can't tell McKinsey partners what to do either. Uh, it is a partnership where there's shared governance and processes that in many ways uh, mirror uh, often what happens uh, in higher education. Right, so you spent so much of your career outside the U.S., even though um, you, 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 are, you have joint French-U.S. Uh, nationality. You spent so much of your career outside the U.S. I mean, what can, what, how can you make a U.S. business school um, become more global? Because I think that's one of the big issues that a lot of uh, companies are, are complaining about. Yeah. I don't really view the University of Virginia as a U.S. business school. I view it as a global business school already, or I wouldn't have gone there. It's the focus, the types of people, the curriculum, the way we think about the world. It, it's already global. Um, you know, what I just hope to bring is my unique set of, or my specific set of experiences. Uh, it's true I've spent half of my life living in Belgium, but when my clients used to ask me where did I live, I used to say I live on British Airways because I. I spent all my time in the Middle East and Africa and Asia, and I always flew through London as a hub to go out and do my client service all over the world. Um, and I just believe the world is increasingly interconnected, and any, any student uh, from the University of Virginia or any of the other top business schools that go out, they deal with a global economy. Any businesses are selling to a global set of customers. They have competition coming from many different places. It's important to see that the world is super interconnected, very competitive from many different uh, corners. 
and technology is flattening, flattening that as well. So any, any successful student has to come through with an understanding and appreciation of the world, and that's something that we demand of all of our students to have a global experience when they're at Darden. Professor Beardsley, thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Della. For more interviews with business school deans, go to ft.com forward slash business education.